Hey guys, um, internet girlfriends don't need your money. I just read the comments where somebody else has was due to go to a trip to the Philippines, being in touch with somebody, um, and basically the woman extended her contract um, rather than going home to meet him. Um, point being is, A, she was working overseas already, that's already a sign that you don't need to send one centavo. You don't have to send any money whatsoever. She's already paying her own way. B, then she didn't bother going back home to meet up, which is another sign she wasn't serious with the relationship. But the, the important bit here is they are not your girlfriend. They're, there is no relationship yet. You have no foundation. You have not met in person. You have no idea who this person is yet. Um, and the reason I say this is people allow people to scam them. And I know a lot of guys will say, oh, well, she's poor, I gave her some money for this. They'll justify doing it. These people already had a life before you arrived. And in this case, the woman's also already working abroad. She does not need your money. She's got her own cash. And you're not locked into a relationship. Now, the other side of this being is the metrics are changing. And they have been for some time. I mean, Russia is a prime example. Ukraine's another one. Um, these locations have a problem relating to the ratio of men, thanks to things like wars in Chechnya. Um, I think Ukraine there's four women to every one man, but the point is these women are not desperate, they're not financially dependent on you, they are very independent women and they know exactly what man they want. They're looking for somebody that doesn't, well, predominantly doesn't drink that much if at all, um, capable of looking after themselves. And at the same time, they're not really asking for too much, but at the same time, they are a lot more selective than you'll find with people from the Philippines. But at the same time, the Philippines will get there as well over time, because obviously the Philippines is evolving, even though it's very slow and it may still seem about 1960s sometimes in the way that the progression um, is extremely slow. In fact, the Philippines, if you look through, History was more developed than it currently is in many ways because of the corruption issues like many other countries like places in Africa. They were more developed under other rules but simply because the corruption was less and the processes functioned and things got deteriorated over time. But getting away from the subject, the main point I want to make here though is you have no reason to send any money at all. Not until you meet face to face and then you can make your own decision then. But even then, if she has her own job, why are you sending money? I'm not being funny, and let's put it this way. Um, in the UK, uh, with my past relationships with women in the UK, did I send them any money or give them any money? The answer to that is no. Because, A, if they didn't live with me, it's not my problem. B, when they did live with me, they gave me some money towards the bills. There was no point in my life where it was like, oh well, I'll need to give them money for this or that. Never. Um, I mean, even with my wife now, she manages the money, but at the same time, that's because she is predominantly looking after the kids. I don't give her allowance. I don't give her money. If she needs something, she just goes and gets it. That's it. But then again, that's well past meeting on the internet. Thanks for watching.